Okay, let's start with what is machine learning session. It is theoretical, but you will understand the core idea behind machine learning, so it's very really important. Let's start. Some researchers like Andrei Burkov, the author of, of our second source book, states that machines don't learn. Today, there are discussions on the term of learning in machine learning, and I think this sentence is questionable. If we look at the definitions of to learn or learning in respected English dictionaries like Oxford Dictionary, we will see these keywords to gain knowledge from experience, to remember, to gradually change the attitude or discover, or process of learning something like learning how to play chess, knowledge from reading, learn from experience. Of course, machines cannot read exactly like humans, but they can get the text data as input. And we will see these keywords in machine learning models. Therefore, I would like to say machines don't learn exactly like humans, like animals. However, there is a learning in machine learning process. Okay, let's look at machine learning definitions to think and understand what machine learning is. Uh, I will not read them. You can pause the video and read each of them. I just want to highlight that alternative definitions are available uh, and we will focus on the keywords and we will do our own definition. The first definition from Arthur Samuel, he defined machine learning in 1959. As you see, there are some keywords such as learn and without explicitly programmed. And our second and third definitions are from the, the sources of this video series. The second one from Geron and the third one from Burkow. Uh, there are some differences between them, uh, for example, while Geron used learn, Burkow didn't use learn or data in his definition, but he used algorithms and computer science as other important keywords. Now I want to show three more definitions from Oxford Dictionary, Expert that I are, and IBM. And as you see, there are some same and similar words, also some different words in each definition. For example, expert.ai and IBM use artificial intelligence in their definitions. So I extracted most characteristic words and keywords from these definitions. And let's look at only keywords. There are keywords from the previous definitions like programming, learn, data, experience, without explicitly algorithms, statistical models, and artificial intelligence. Let's think on them one by one. Programming. Programming means machine learning is not a magic, fully autonomous. There is no divine inspiration. A human should give some instructions, should program it, code it. The second one, learn. If there is a learning, then there should be training there. As we saw in the uh, to learn and learning definitions, there will be an experience process. A machine learning model will gain knowledge or change its attitude after being learned or getting experienced. Also, learn means there is a teacher. In this case, as we, uh, we as humans are teachers. So, machines can have human-based bias thanks to their teachers. Keep, it, keep that in mind. Third one, data which is one of the most important parts of machine learning. Machine, machines can read or hear, but they have no eyes and ears. So we can give different type of data as input, and learning process depends on this data, these inputs. Machine learning algorithms need structured, mostly balanced data set, and we will use data science techniques to prepare it before giving to our models. Think that, Teachers don't give alphabet uh, randomly to the children. They lead, they quiet them, and give the alphabet in a systematic way. And experience is a part of learning. Also, experience means uh, time and process. Over time, machine learning models will be more accurate. At least it should be. And we saw without explicitly in two, in two definitions. That means not everything is given, in other words, we can say something should be given. As I said before, machine learning models are not fully autonomous models. They need some instructions. And the algorithms is very important. But firstly, I want to warn you. So many people use machine learning models and machine, machine learning algorithms in the same sense, same meaning. However, they are not identical. 
Machine learning algorithms is a procedure that is run on data to create a machine learning model. We can think other, let's say, sorting algorithms. On the other hand, machine learning model is the output of a machine learning algorithm run on data. I added a link which explains this difference very well. You can check it. For now, don't forget they are not same. So, if there is an algorithm, then there should be a design, model, and designer. A learning process will be constructed on this algorithm. And statistical models, also very important keywords in here, because there is a math, there is a mathematic behind machine learning. If you want to learn data science techniques, machine learning algorithms, you should know at least college level calculus, linear algebra, statistics, and probability. Last but not least, artificial intelligence. Okay, machine learning is not an artificial general intelligence, not a terminator or some super robot, but they are test specific. Uh, it's an application field of artificial narrow intelligence, actually. We can say that there is a slight imitation of human intelligence in machine learning. Of course, for marketing, uh, people usually say that uh, yes, we are developing an artificial intelligence based applications and systems when they use machine learning. Okay, to sum up, we can say that machine learning is a subfield of artificial intelligence and computer science, needs instructions and design, uses data, algorithms, statistical models, math, and learns and gains knowledge as an imitation of human intelligence. Now, let's see the difference between machine learning and traditional approaches.